Belichick's Browns have played with inspiration each week. And as the season comes to an end, the beginning of a new era has begun in Cleveland. In Pittsburgh, a same 6-9 and nine record is about disappointment and frustration. And now the question remains, will this be Chuck Knoll's last game? In 1969, Knoll came to the Steelers with a purpose to be the best. He didn't want the celebrity, he just wanted to win. His record stands. No coach has won more Super Bowls than Chuck Knoll. His name belongs in the same conversation with Hallis, Brown, Shula, and Landry. Chuck Knoll is one of the NFL's great winners. No one in the Steeler organization is giving any indication that it is his final game, and Knoll isn't responding to any questions about it. He wants only to beat his arch rival, a team he once played for, the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, you know, Don, uh, Chuck Knoll in Pittsburgh is affectionately called the Emperor. And the Emperor has given no indication to anyone whether his job is in his hands or in Dan Rooney's hands. But everyone's asking the question. The only indication we got was from Bubby Brister that this week, Chuck Knoll seemed to be coaching a little harder than he had in the past. I asked Bubby, what does that mean? Bubby said, I don't know. And it's one of the things that uh, Belichick is constantly preaching to his offense. Bernie told us yesterday he knew coming into this year that he was going to have to be more protective of the football. He yeah. certainly... Kozar on first down, hands off, and the carry isn't for very much. The Steelers have shut down the Bengals running game last week in Cincinnati here. Boy here in Pittsburgh, number 95. Notice yesterday, when he was uh, preparing for Saturday's practice, he had a T-shirt on. It said, Greg Lloyd, 95. They didn't hire me for my disposition. He wears that all the time. And Dave Brazil, the defensive coordinator of the Steelers, said, yes, we did hire him for his disposition. And on the field, it's not a good one. That's what we like. He has the fewest interceptions in the AFC, six. Now the big rush against him, and Leroy Horde can't hang on as the big rush comes from Gerald Williams. Number what? 57. <laughs> on second down and six, Merrill Hodge breaks into the Cleveland secondary, and he's ahead for a Steeler first down out to the 29-yard line. Corner, he's been a three-time Pro Bowl player. Now Brister swings it out. Hodge has blockers in front. They do their job as Merrill Hodge thunders across the 35-yard line and out to the 38. Now with second down and less than a yard. Brister goes right back to Merrill Hodge, and he shoots ahead. And Hodge needed one. He got 10 out to the 49-yard line. Great size. He's got the whole package. And he gets the ball. Last week when he carried, he fumbled on his first carry. This week he hits ahead for a gain of six yards. And they've beaten the Steelers nine of the last 11 meetings. But today, the Pittsburgh Steelers are running the ball like the great Steeler teams of old. And this time, it's Worley with the trap blocks opening the gates. And he pours on down to the 31-yard line. Now, it is first down and 20 as Kozar with a deep drop runs out of time. He screens the ball weak side to Kevin Nett. Oh, what a play. And a tremendous open field play by Greg Lloyd, who the Steelers all felt should have been in Honolulu come next February at the Pro Bowl. He didn't get the vote, but he's had a terrific year. No score in the first quarter as Kozar from the gun looks to deliver deep. Ball on the wall. Steelers might have it. VZ number 91 was putting the heat on. Lloyd is this way. It looks like Gerald Williams, 57, comes from the right. Yeah, the second pump. And there, Williams knocks it loose, and then it's a free ball. It's between Babs' legs, and there are three Steelers there to get it, although it's between them. Anyway, they give it to Pittsburgh. A feeding frenzy on the loose ball, and the Steelers <laughs> come up with it at the 26-yard line of Cleveland. Brister, the Steeler quarterback, is 1-4 against Cleveland as a starter. Worley taking on people, dives inside the 20. He's down to the 17-yard line, upended by cornerback Frank Minifield, number 31. Top receiver in those Super Bowl days, Jim Smith, the former Michigan wideout. Now Anderson takes his time, and with the swing and the mechanics of a good golfer, he arcs the ball through from 34 yards out. 59 seconds to go in the first quarter, and the Steelers go on the board first, 3 to nothing. Now, very, <laughs> very smart. Here's the play flicker, and the ball is swung out as the Steelers defended it very well. Rod Woodson was coming hard on a cornerback blitz against it, and he and the corner blitz cornerback. comes, and especially and Bernie does an especially good job of just avoiding the sack, throwing that ball towards Kevin Mack. 
Shona with a little limp as he came off the field. Webster Slaughter's the punt return man today for the Cleveland Browns. Well hit ball by Straczynski. It drives Slaughter back to his 29-yard line. Steelers special teamers are there to get him as he loses four yards on the return. 48-yard punt and a four-yard loss on the return. Seen lots of blitzes from Pittsburgh. Offense. So the Browns again fall back as the call is on center Mike Babb. Play clock is ticking down. Lots of time on it. 12 seconds to go. First and goal for the Cleveland Browns. Looking to take the lead. They go to Leroy Horde. He's stopped by the Steelers at the one. Browns take the lead if they take it in. Not there. Steeler defense rises up again and knocks back Joe Morris. Michael Jackson, the fast one, goes in motion. Kozar drops. There's a marker down. Kozar throws. It's incomplete. A tackle-eligible play. He was throwing the ball to Paul Farron, who you talked about, Trump, as being eligible earlier. 70% of the time last week against the Oilers. The hurry up. To the run, Devin Mack very carefully protecting the ball. For my Sorry. heroes. And first down, a hard throw and a connection as Lewis Lips makes the first down catch and gets out of bounds at the 46-yard line at Cleveland. So if this guy is nothing else, he is thorough, isn't he? Art Modell gave him the green light. Check out everybody, and he did. In the Naval Academy football program. Here's Bernie on the run. This will do it for halftime. Bernie runs it down to the 36-yard line. So not a whole lot happened in a rather long first half. They scored a total of seven points in the fourth quarter. Right now, we're tied, and the Steelers are there to stop the run. Now they have third down and nine. What a play. Interception. Richard Schelp. The guy who replaced David Johnson. Very difficult for the officials to watch. Control the football and both feet down. We should have a good picture of it here. Off Slaughter's hands. No control yet. He's got control it. now. Yes, I think, That's an interception. I think so. Although, did you see the official? is for the Steelers as they go second down and 10 and to the run. Worley turns it upfield. Slams down a would-be tackler and goes out of bounds. Hand up goes to Horde and he breaks into the Steelers. Secondary ball on the field. Steelers might have it. They do. At the 41-yard line of Cleveland. Woodson, I think, comes up with a time. And it looks like Shelton, 24, is the guy who gets his hat in there. And the ball is already on the ground, and Woodson comes up with the recovery. So again, seven defensive backs for Cleveland. High throw, and a catch is made down at the six-yard line. It's not giving up a lot of yards today. Big plays have been few and far between. Joe Morris on third and less than one runs it, and he didn't get there where the linesman comes in. Third down throw, a nice one it is. Here's White Stone running in the open field. A great open field block by Lewis Lips. And White Stone will go the distance. And finally, the Steelers hit the big play. No markers down. And Buddy Brister connects with Stone on a 65-yard scoring play. Watch the slant pattern. Stone comes in motion, goes up the field. Bubby puts it right on the numbers. And then it's a foot race. Watch Turner, 29, Lewis Lips. Comes in and makes that nice block. That's the last guy who can possibly uh, stop Dwight Stone. Simple little pass. Not designed to go the distance, but it certainly does. Lip stays in the play. Excellent job. And he's only completed seven passes today. One for a touchdown. He likes it. That's Joe Green he's hugging. <laughs> But not over yet as we go to the fourth quarter and Kozar comes out throwing deep. Michael Jackson is out there and the ball is tipped away. He two, the Browns 0 for 7 on third downs. Out pattern a pick, it'll go the distance. 
Richard Shelton, who's having a big day, has his biggest moment as he takes it back in with no penalty markers down. And the Steelers blow open the game with 9.28 to play and a 56-yard interception return for a touchdown. Richard Shelton with a 57-yard return of an interception. Watch this pump by Bernie Kosar. He doesn't make many mistakes, but this is well read by Richard Shelton. He takes a chance. Ford is the intended receiver, and it's style points for on this 57-yard interception return for a touchdown. <laughs> Out of Liberty. He falls into the end zone. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stands in, delivers hard, and the ball is broken up. Stover with a line drive kickoff fielded by Gerald Williams. He used to be a running back in high school, a good fullback, and he gets out of bounds as he crosses the 35-yard line, and a penalty marker comes in late. First down for the Steelers. They lead by seven with 6.45 to play. Worley, Hodge blocks, Worley turns it all day long whenever they give it to him. Now that knee could go at any time. Uh, that injury, more than his lack of play this year, will cost him money on the eventual contract he signs. Cleveland does very well and hurts their opponents. I'm surprised they haven't gone to it earlier. Those are fires, Brian Brennan. Almost had it. The coverage came in and made the strike just as the ball arrived. That was Carnell Lake. First down throw by Kozar is going for the distance. And the ball is intercepted. A extraordinary play. And again, it's Richard Shelton. That's his third. Of the toughest quarterback in the AFC to intercept. Achilles tendon. How about that? Webster Slaughter is the intended receiver. This young man from Liberty has had one whale of a day. Kozar has now thrown for over 300 yards, but has had three intercepted. By number 24, Richard Schilt of Liberty College. Chuck Knoll and his Steelers Two minutes from their seventh victory of the season, but they've got to hold on. They have second down of, of seven coming up. Worley, for the gap, finds it. Moves ahead and gets across the 30-yard line to the 31. Well, there's inexperience on Worley's part. He does a good thing in picking up the first down. The bad thing is he gets out of bounds, so the clock stops again for Cleveland. And if the Steelers win, they'll finish the season with a 4-2 and two record in the division which is very important to Chuck Nolan and his staff. And Cleveland will fall to 2-4 and four in the division. Is this Chuck Nolan's last game as a head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers? Because he said the only place he'll ever coach is Pittsburgh. Here's Kozar dropping the throw on first down. They give him time. Now he runs out of it, and Kozar's caught from behind at the 40. Gerald Williams with his fourth sack today, his ninth of the season. Fourth down and one. They gotta go to the end zone. Crowd noise is intense despite all the no-shows. Here's Kozar taking a look on the run. And Bernie Kozar is caught. And the Steelers win the game 17 to 10. Greg Lloyd with the sack. His eighth. And Chuck Knoll has a winning day. And this is the conclusion of his 23rd season. Is it his last? Boy, look at all the cameramen around him. Our thanks to our executive producer, Terry O'Neill, coordinating producer, John Francis. Producer today was Victor Frank, director Richard Klein. For Bob Trumpy, this is Don Crickey. Chuck Knoll trotting off a of victor. It's a doubleheader day on most of these stations. The Chiefs and the Raiders are next.